Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Black Sand. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. If y'all got if y'all got a blend or something like that up right now, if y'all got a, you know a bomb, whatever, get y'all get you get your set together, you know what I'm saying? We definitely finna have a a good little video today. Um this today this video is gonna be about the evolution of uh 17, Android 17 and Android 18. So before we get into the video, we wanna let, uh, I'm gonna take the time to let y'all get the time to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Um, if you've been watching Evolution series, you know that we'll be uh, dropping content into the New Year's and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, just this is a way for y'all to get to know our characters and style, right? And um, 17 and 18 will be is actually the first villains uh that we actually have dived that we are going to dive into in, in the evolution series uh partially because they become protagonists later on in the continuity now 18 and 17 uh well 18 is born uh her, her name is actually lazul and 17 name is actually la peace 17 18 is actually the older brother of 17. now we know that before beforehand, before we knew them as androids, that they was kidnapped by Dr. Jero, right? Literally kidnapped by Dr. Jero and made into superficial humans. So after he made them into superficial humans, he put them into these pods into a later date to wherever to where in the future they can be able to be uh brought up brought up into you know what I'm saying, helping with the aid of exterminating Goku. So, they were so perfect just to kill Goku. So, when we first meet Android 17 and 18, right? We see that uh, Dr. Jarrell has went back to his lab. He's in distress, or whatever. He's, you know, he had just got beaten. And uh, Android 19 had just gotten killed. So, he go back to his lab to wake Android 17 and 18 up. Now, when he wakes him up, when he wakes up 17 to 18, these kids are not like any other kids. Like they, they one of these, they, they kind of insubordinate. Well, actually because they probably know how they got there in the first place by being kidnapped. But we see that Dr. Jerome really has no kind of rule over them. And they kind of just do what they want. So 18 actually makes the proposal to Activate 16 as well. Now, 16 is the android that we'll talk about uh, as well because he's he he he, he he's uh, the third party in their trio until further until a later time where he actually uh, you know dies and don't and isn't a part of the continuity anymore. But we're gonna talk about him as well. So we see that 18 makes the you know what I'm saying just the two free him and seven and Jero like is not with it so 17 actually ends up basically like kicking his head off and uh once he kicks his head off uh you know he's still talking and stuff but you know he even had Jero even had a kill switch for them but uh they end up 17 end up snatching that as well and um breaking that but we see that once he knocks his head off it's pretty much over for Jero, and Jero ends up dying. So Trunks and the Z Fighters end up getting there, and they try to actually destroy 16 before Android 18 can bring them like into existence or take them out of the pot. And they actually shoot a key blast to blow up Jero's laboratory, but 18 and 17 saves them. 16, right? So. We see, so the first time we actually see them engaged, right? Uh, we see that uh, the Z Fighters has followed them. Really, Vegeta has followed them. And um, 18 is uh, is uh, talking to Vegeta, and Vegeta wants to take her home. So he does. Now, as they fighting, we know that Android 17 actually tells the rest of the Z Fighters. Not the butt in 
oh, he gonna jump in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, of course, they kind of like stuck. They are already like looking at what she's doing to a Super Saiyan. This is Super Saiyan Vegeta versus 18. So they seen what he's doing to a Super Saiyan. They really don't, you know what I'm saying? And, and Trunks is at the time realizing that, you know, 17 to 18 is, is way, way stronger than from his timeline. And, you know, this is the whole reason why they even knew about 17 and 18 because of Future Trunks. So you got to take his word of advice. And, you know what I'm saying? At this time, Vegeta is very private. So he's going against 18 and end up getting uh, dominated. And um, to the point where Trunks actually jumps in and J Trunks. Once he jumps in, 17 jumps in, and they put down all the Z fighters. Like, damn, they kill everybody, right? So after the fight, we see that Krillin approaches 18, and um, we see that, you know, they decided to go to the next town, whatever, you know what I'm saying, and uh, go shopping and whatever, get their stuff together on the way to get Goku, right? And once Krillin approaches 18, he asking them, like, you know, do they want to like just kill Goku or take over the world type like what's they what's they issue and she asked, she basically said well right now they want to just kill Goku after that they'll find out what they want to do like they you know they really don't have you know what I'm saying like they're not really kind of hell they're not really hell bent like the ones in future Trunks timeline they're just doing random obliteration of the you know what I'm saying just killing everybody they 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 almost like teenagers with powers in a way right like immature team teenagers with power so but they do it but they do have the the objective inside of them just made for them to kill goku because they feel as if goku is the strongest anyways so uh they they fly off whatever they go off to uh goku you know what i'm saying to go shopping here at goku house once they get to goku house later on they find it deserted you know what i'm saying doing before this time they shopping and doing stuff like that and running into uh you know authorities police officers and stuff like that but you know what i'm saying they uh basically span that what i what i was just talking about that they were not really hell bent on killing people they they really are a little bit they really are way different than the ones in his timeline just just like because the ones in his timeline seem more like villains like super villains the ones in his time the ones in in, in our timeline seem more like like I say, like immature teenagers, but they still villains because they will kill you. So they uh they they get to Goku house and see that it is it's deserted, right? So sixteen actually thinks about like a uh, you know what I'm saying like he has a, like a like a database based on Goku. So he actually knows his whereabouts or where he could be. So he makes the reference that. Uh, he could be at Kami House or, or Capsule Court, you know what I'm saying? And they kind of like, um, you know, ask him which one the closest in. Of course, Kami House. So they end up going to Kami House, right? And when they get to Kami House, we see that Enjoy 16, Enjoy 16 and 17 and 18, you know, they, uh, they run into Piccolo. Piccolo actually tells them, tells the rest of the Z fighters that they arrived, but you know, by this time they already chopping it up and 17 is basically saying he wanna take Piccolo, Piccolo like he wanna see him try. So they end up going to a, another little island and getting it in, like really getting it in. Like, and they, uh, of course at this time, Enjoy 16 has already seen how he fought against, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, Vegeta at the time, right? Vegeta at the time, so, and Piccolo, Piccolo got put down as well, but prior, you know what I'm saying, whenever they fought before, but they seen that this is a different person, Android 16 is seen that this is a different person, and Android 17 is, at the time, having a hard time with uh, Piccolo, so, because he, at this time, he had fused with Kami, and basically became his whole self once again, like the son of Katatsu, so, we see Cell arise, right? Uh, and when he arrived, he kind of got he 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 done he he done he done upgraded from the last time he fought Piccolo. So now, because he's sucked up so many souls from so many cities, like literally, he's like almost like at a you know just I mean he's above Piccolo. So because Piccolo is trying to stop him, 
to once he arrives and he's got his eyes set on 17, but he can't seem to stop him. Um, like, you know, we see that even 16 get the ball, right? So 16 jumps in and he actually does the hellfire, hell zone, fire and everything. Like he hits him with the with the with the rocket punch, like everything. You know what I'm saying? Like he tries everything on uh sell but to stop him from getting to 17 and 17 and fight ends, ends up fighting Cell. But eventually Cell ends up, you know what I'm saying, like 17 is kinda like cocky. He's a very cocky kinda kinda uh person. Uh, and everybody's trying to tell him just to run or whatever, but he ends up Cell ends up uh sneaking behind 17 and absorbing him. So once we get to second form cell, we see that Enjoy 16 engages with him as well. And well, engage, Enjoy 16 engages with him. And you see that um it's 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 uh it's not it's not too it's not too much she can do, you know what I'm saying? And, and TN ends up basically uh jumping in and helps him like Neo try beaming until so they can get away. But he he used up all his life energy, right? So once they uh, get far away, Cell, of course, is trying to find. He end up being over this island and end up running to Vegeta, uh, and they engage, right? So they enjoy 16 and 18 is witnessing the fight on the, on the, on this last little island that Cell just happened not to blow up. Um, and we see that uh, as they fight, you know, they having this quarrel with, you know. Vegeta and Trunks, and Trunks is trying to, you know, stop Cell from absorbing 16 and 18, or, uh, you know, well, 18 at a time, like, reaching his perfected form because he feeling like, you know, it's going to be over. So, what happens is, uh, Krillin actually drops the switch, which, uh, you know, 18, you know, recognizes, and she look back, and they have their little moment, right? Well, uh, she like, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he even steps on it, right? She like, why would you do that? And, um, well, she like, that's that ball guy when she first see him, right? <laughs> that's that one kid. But, uh, she see, uh, after that, we see that, uh, Cell even spots 16 to 18. And now they coming, he coming forward, and Trunks having to jump in. And Vegeta's stopping Trunks. Cell ends up doing a solar flare, right? Blinding everybody so he can literally just walk up and take her. And that's exactly what he does. He walks up and take her. And uh, once he gets to his perfected form, I mean, he even does like a, you know, a force field shell to stop them from, stop, you know, from, from, from any interference from like him getting to that form. And um, once he gets to that form, we see that, uh, Krillin is uh taking 16 away because uh Trunks is taking Cell on him. So Krillin has taken 16 away to Capsule Core so he Bulma can fix on him. And um we see that Bulma actually has the experience to the experience and the blueprints that they actually brought earlier to uh work on him and actually get him fixed, right? So now we stepping into what will be the Cell Saga because we see that Android 16, uh, 16 is refixed. Android 18 and 17 is absorbed and um, it's like a whole different uh, feeling in the out, right? So Cell games begin and we know that uh, Android 16 ends up trying to uh, jump in at one point and actually self-destruct because uh you know so much had happened he felt like that was his only choice so he actually hooked someone to sell sell and yeah he, he's actually strong enough to actually like hold cell in place like cell couldn't get out of his bad hood so what he does is try to self-destruct but he didn't know that boom had essentially taken his self-destruct Bomb out, you know what I'm saying, just for safety purposes or 
or whatever. So he can't even set the truck in. Cell ends up breaking, you know, busting out in the ways because of course he's just that strong. But uh, he he uh, he busts out and um, actually uh, ends up um, dying whenever he's speaking to Gohan about just letting go. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy 16 with that, you know, with that, with his death being with that scene. We know that even prior to meeting Cell, throughout this whole time, he was one of those characters that was very um, soft. You know what I'm saying? Other than what his mission was, he was clear on his mission, but he was very soft with life. He, he, he almost looked at life totally. He looked at life totally different than the other two androids. Time. Like uh, he was very, um, he loved nature, right? Like he was one of those people that uh, birds used to fly. I think they flew to his hand, and you see him like interact with animals and stuff like that, and just care for care for nature in a different way. Um, and he he explained that with his speech with Gohan, but we we see after that, um, he's gone. So we know that uh. Later on, Gohan ends up fighting Cell, and um, he actually kicks Cell in Super Saiyan 2, right? And um, he kicks Cell and knocks him out of his perfect stage. So, Android 18 actually gets brought back, and um, we see that uh, Krillin runs to her aid as like, soon as that happens. And um, we see that uh, he ends up bringing her to the lookout. And on the lookout, you know, this is this is after Cell is defeated. It defeated Cell, right? So on the lookout, they they, they bring um, the Shenron, you know what I'm saying? They summon Shenron, whatever. And they actually bring back um, everybody who was killed by Cell. Now, during this time, you know what I'm saying? Um, 17, 18 was actually uh, brought back. I mean, it was, you know, not 18, but Future Trunks was actually brought back. A lot of the Z Fighters was actually brought back. But 18 was there to witness it all. You know what I'm saying? She woke up and hid and we was just looking around the corner. Like, but she uh, actually witnessed um, Krillin. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about, like, you know, if you can wish. If you can take the bomb out of this, the self destruct bomb out of uh, 17 and, and 18, and um, he was actually like thinking that you know he had made the reference because Gohan was already telling him, like you know had said that he had a crush on him. So you know, uh, so 18 was like before she left, you know what I'm saying? And um, she, you know, of course she said thank you or whatever, whatever. But she said. Uh, Know, she makes the reference that you know that they brothers and sisters that it's not her lover because what Krillin was thinking that 17 was somewhat of a lover to her but that's not that wasn't the case with him you know after that she ran into 17 right and tell him you know what I'm saying that uh what Krillin did so you know they all go their separate ways you know what I'm saying and this is what we dive into the Boo Saga now in the Boo Saga we see seven years of that have passed, right? So we see that now Android 18 and Krillin, they got a relationship, a whole relationship going on. They have, they married at this time. They have a three-year-old daughter, right? And her name is Marin. And uh, we see that, uh, you know, they got this relationship almost like Goku and Chi Chi. Like, you know what I'm saying? That Goku was to stick around, like, you know what I'm saying? Like how she gets sick. Like he, she pretty much let him do his thing. You know what I'm saying? But whenever she get angry, like he kind of like let her get her way. You know what I'm saying? Like just straight up. So 17, right? He went on to travel. You know what I'm saying? Like into this, like into this place called the Monsterland, right? And he decided to basically like look out for wildlife and you know what I'm saying, fend off poachers and stuff like that, right? And um, he ends up even like getting like he's up like getting married and having like a child with his wife and having like two adopted children of his own at the time. So we see that later on in the Boo Saga, 18 is 
having this world martial arts tournament, right? With uh trying to get this money up. And she actually goes against Mr. Satan. And it's like one of those gag, uh, you know what I'm saying, scenes where she actually like lets him defeat her, like, and she gotta be dramatic with it. And so drawn out with it that uh, you know, the crowd believe it, but it definitely wasn't believable to me, but I guess the crowd believed it. And you know, that was pretty much the you know the end of her in that saga. But we know that later on, um, she's uh when one Super Bowl rise, right? She uh you know is going through the most with everybody else on the lookout tower because Super Bowl has literally came to the lookout tower, and he does the human extinction, right? The, the human extinction uh, kill attack, right? And essentially, he kills everybody on Earth, including Seventeen. You know what I'm saying? So, Enjoy Seventeen actually dies at this time, but we don't see that, and we know that uh, Enjoy Eighteen actually tries to run away with uh, Marin, and uh, you know, at her side, and she ends up getting turned to chocolate. So she gets uh, killed by Boo, but. You know what I'm saying? We know later on, um, they used the Namekian Dragon Balls actually to bring back everybody that was killed on Boo by Boo. Because, I mean, we know that Kid Boo came and destroyed the whole Earth. Right? So, later on, we don't really see the twins until to, uh, the term of the power come around. Now, when the term of the power come around, we know that... Uh, you know, 18, you know what I'm saying, the six, uh, 18 and uh, Krillin, you know what I'm saying, is chilling and uh, Goku comes around and he's making this proposal to bring Krillin up involved, you know what I'm saying, but he, of course he want the pair as well, he want both of them as well, but you know, uh, she with so she basically like falls back and, you know, look at her man fight and try to, uh, you know, basically spar with Goku. And she has to jump in at one point, you know what I'm saying? And Goku actually throws in the towel, but he uh, basically, you know what I'm saying, wants to recruit her. She wants to do it for the money, but she can kind of tell like, it's a seriousness in it. That if she, if they lose, that something might happen. That, you know what I'm saying? So she ends up even telling Goku about, you know what I'm saying, 17. And how he, you know what I'm saying, how he over the, you know, with the wildlife, he was ranging now, he fending off poachers, he got like a whole setup. So we so we see after that, Goku actually goes to C-17, right? And um, he, uh, as he goes to C-17, we see that he actually, Goku actually had to help 17 fend out these poachers because, you know what I'm saying? 17 actually takes, he takes his, his, his wildlife and his uh and, and just wildlife here over the earth, not just his job, but just like he's a whole different person at this point. Like he he's grown in so many ways because he's uh first of all, like I say, he has his own wife and he has his own life, but he sees life different after post sale. Like just I guess you know just getting him having death or him being in the until. He was brought back with the Dragon Balls was enough for him to have a change in his life and never change, never change, never look back, right? So we see that he uh, he, he he's fending out these potions with Goku and um, he kind of refuses at first, but he ends up on Goku one and ends up accepting the recruitment, right? And whenever he actually spars with Goku, we see that he's actually on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like he's actually putting up a fight and he was actually holding back. Goku was holding back as well, but he was holding back as well. Now, the term of the power starts, right? And when it starts, we see that everybody, you know, they made a little plan, but we know for a fact that uh, um, a couple of people are just, everybody's really doing what they want, what they, what they would usually do, right? So. With 18 and Krillin being so close together, they actually um, stick, stick by each other a lot during the first beginning of the tournament. And 17 is more of a, 
uh, cared about himself as well. But we see that 18 um, beats, you know, going is going against Sosa, and she actually uh, beat some bad, and he actually has to play dead at one point. And um, we see that he actually gets the ups on her, and Krillin has to have to save her, you know what I'm saying? And of course, they end up combining the attack together to put him off the ring, you feel me? But regardless, like, uh, Krillin actually pumps through to save uh, 18 at the time. And um, we see that 18 goes beast mode after that because she feels like, you know, she got to do her part. So she goes off and knocks off Tubba, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Kakodi, you know, she knocks both of them off the ring, throws both of them off the ring. And after that, we see a whole different shift in what goes on because uh, we know that Krillin is knocked off by Frost during this time. And now, you know, 17 to 18 is kind of pairing up and they kind of... Going, you know, doing this kind of pair bunny thing because they haven't really been around each other in years before this, right? I know she visited them like one time. So we see that, you know, they fall into a fight, a two on two with Rosie and Rivian. And, um, you know, we know that uh, at this time, you know, Rivian is uh, is going, actually going in with uh, 18. But we know that 18. It's like she got infinite key, and a lot of people is taking this for granted whenever they fight her. So she actually powers through Rivian and knocks Rivian off with the help of Seventeen, of course. But uh, we know that later on, Seventeen even like spots like this little character that's giving the Z fighters a hard time because he's literally a bug. You know what I'm saying? Like a small little bug, but he has the super human strength, so he's jumping around. Nobody can't see him. And 17 ends up blowing him off uh, the ring. <laughs> you know, Goku actually helps him spot him. So uh, we see that later on, you know, Universe 3 got this like all out attack on Universe 7. They going in. And we see that uh, 18 and 17, they work together to work uh, to take down by ours. You know what I'm saying? Like this, his defense, right? So. Eventually, like, 18 kicks him off the stage, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, basically, the red, you know, the Analyzer, this big robot character is like, you know, they done, they done combine and stuff. So all the Z fighters really got to get together, including 17 and 18 to beat this character. But uh, we are just going on to the next fight. We actually see them actually going to it because uh, like basically one on one because at this time we know that uh, 17 actually falls off the ring and 18 is actually uh, have, she actually has to sacrifice herself because she feel like she could do more and plus her man off the ring so she know you know what I'm saying it's getting to the heat of things right so we see that Enjoy 17 is uh, engaging with Topo and Topo is giving 17 a hard time because he's a very powerful character. He's almost got literally he, he's he's almost he's almost he's almost off the ring at this point. Like Freeze has to jump in and uh, save Seventeen by just being Freeza and like <laughs> picking on Topo and actually like but actually de dealing damage as well. So we see that uh. He's actually change. He, he actually gets to the point where he changes to a god of destruction, right? And when he changes to a god of destruction, we know that he overwhelms Frieza fast. And um, it was to the point where like he almost killed Frieza, but uh, Injo Seventeen actually throws the um, throws a rock to actually hit Frieza onto the ring once he's like literally about to fall off so we see we don't see Topo we don't see 17 fight until later right because we see that Vegeta ends up taking taking out Topo you know what I'm saying because Vegeta's giving Jared a hard time because he's teaming up with Goku to knock him off and um we see that uh after that 
17 goes and tries to, you know, get it up, you know, try to fight Jim because we know that uh, everybody is, is, is narrowing down at this time, you know what I'm saying? So, as he trying to fight Jim, 17 is up jumping in front of him and making barriers, whatever, and trying to, like, say, basically try to hold off to him from killing Goku, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, he basically does his thing with Jiren where he, um, he basically, like, self, basically, like, fate self-destruct. So he reels a man to the point where he can get him. And, um, he actually jumps in and, like, fate self-destruct, but he actually blows, like, uh, he actually, like, blows a, a, a like a, like a, he, he actually does well with Jiren. He blows like a, like he, he, he realizes that once Jiren is off guard, that he actually, he actually creates a weakness if he's, if he's actually caught off guard. So he actually, like, fakes up the scrubs, but blows Jiren up from the um, back. So, that's crazy. But, uh, Jiren actually, um, you know what I'm saying? He survived the attack, of course. But uh, we see that uh, later on, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's Goku and Frieza that actually takes Jiren off of the ring. Now, when they go off the ring, everybody's thinking like, "Who well, who won?" Because they 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 don't feel enjoyed Seventeen because of what happened with him and Jiren. But he actually comes from up under a rock, and he's the lone uh, survivor of the Terminus of Power, right? And when he is granted his wish, you see that his wishes, well, he looks at Goku at first, but he, he, he wishes for it, not only, because, you know, his, his own wish was for money, so he can up, you know, put the upbringing of, of the wildlife that he, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, kind of bring up his, his regular life, but we see that he actually wishes back all the universes that was erased, right? And, um, that wish was so big because you know it's it, it's a broadened aspect because we know that there was 18 universes at first so we don't know if those universes was wished back because we know that once you wish stuff back it's 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 uh some stuff happens off camera you know what i'm saying so we don't know how big the wish was but all the 12 universes definitely came back all the, the, the erased universes definitely came back so the next time we actually see uh, Android 17 and 18, um, you know, after this, because they go back to their regular lives after this, um, will be the Galactic Patrol Prisoner Saga, right? So, Android 18, along with her brother, you know what I'm saying, basically showed up at the Moro, um, you know what I'm saying, get together, because they, you know, they, they, was, they, they showed up a little late, but somebody had paid them essentially so they basically they were being paid at least i think like 10 million to even fight against some people so they had pulled up they ended up pulling up on uh shima Rekka and enjoy uh i said enjoy og73 which he's an enjoy as well right so we see that uh they engaged with them and uh, they actually giving them a hard time 17 is actually beating up on uh OG73 and Shimmerica is getting beat by Enjoy 18. Now, it don't really take too long for Moro and Segumbo to arrive. Now, once they arrive, everything gets shut down. It's time for the big dogs to come out, right? So now you get, you know, they basically hold them off, hold Segumbo off, and um, until Goku get there. You know what I'm saying? And after that, so later on, we know that in Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Android 18 actually helps with the takedown of Cell Max and just aiding the Z Fighters as they fought against that brute. Like, for real, like, I mean, she's always there to assist in any way that she can. You know what I'm saying? You know that she's gonna be there, and Krillin gonna be there. But we see that uh, Android 17 and 18, they have changed in so many different ways. You know, they have kids and they live lives now. They, you know, they they became essentially part of the Z Fighters, right? And we see that now uh, that super superhero is, you know,
know, going into another chapter, is we can only expect for them to still be protectors of the earth because they are there and they literally created families there. So they're gonna be somewhere around, you know what I'm saying? And I don't see them leaving no time soon. But if you like this video, definitely hit that like button. Definitely hit the comment section. Let me know if I miss anything. Thank you for tuning in, for everybody who tuned in tonight. Uh, the Evolution Series will keep going. And I want y'all to uh, actually look into um, my next channel, um, Anime Fanatic. It's uh, Anime Fanatic 444. Uh, YouTube.com at Anime Fanatic 444 or you can just look it up on YouTube at Anime Fanatic and that's with a K at the end. Um, thank you for tuning in and to all my fellow saying salute.